It's been one hell of a stupid night tonight. For starters, I tried to get into the DC Dual Force closed beta. Shout out to Card Game Emporium on YouTube. He was kind enough to give me a beta key to get into the closed beta. But I couldn't get in. Just uh, kept on saying that the code wasn't good and I had to keep on signing up with different passwords. Just stupid. I gave up. And then I said, yeah, let me go ahead and play that game Emergence that just came out not long ago. That uh, other superhero game. Get on there, and then it looks like that one let me. That one wouldn't let me in. Looks like they uh, just shut down. I know they shut down on Tezos, the uh, crypto platform, but I think they uh, shut down in the browsers too. Dude made a video about it about a month ago, talking about they closed down in Tezos, but looks like there's just all the ways to close down. Then, furthermore. I tried to play this uh, stupid magic spell slingers again that I covered like a year ago. I played it like uh, a week ago, but it seems to always crash. And then sure enough, I tried to get beyond the stupid tutorials and get to the real game. Because, I mean, it has to make you play 10 stupid rudimentary third grader games before you can get to the actual game and start building decks and playing against people but anyway I think I might just be done with that one because it just keeps on crashing it crashed again tonight so I'm just gonna keep on going down the line so that brings us to Spectromancer I heard about this from uh, Tom Vassal of the Dice Tower he loves it so let's give it a try haven't heard too many people talking about this one so let's give it a try Alright, single player, single duel, player, let's change that right quick, OEO games, versus novice mage, wizard type, warrior priest, wizard type random, play it, run it, alright looks like 60 life each, Well, it looks like you might have a s literal, maybe like a spell book. I have no idea how the game plays, but it looks like six front row, six back row, or maybe that's my six versus their six. I'm guessing you just play one card a turn, maybe. These ones that are kind of not. These ones that are kind of doled out. I guess I don't have access to those right now. But fire six, water five, air four, earth four, spirit two. Don't know. And then they've got fire three, water three, air three, earth three, spirit two. Huh. All right, so this fire stuff is under the fire column. Maybe this is just opening hands. You draw eight for starters or something. Okay, two drops spirit. Okay, this is what's in my hand. This is maybe the mana cost. They just, oh man, that was that word. But uh, maybe that's just the cost and they cost, they just cost single, single color energy. 423, so four attack, 23 life. Each time a neighboring creature dies, Holy Avengers attack increases by two permanently. Our, okay, let's put you out there in the beginning. That's how Foil Game Summons Holy Avenger. Get advice. Okay, so then they play something. They play Ice Golem. Okay, what's Ice Golem do? Water creature costs 4, attack 4, life 12. Ice Golem receives no damage from spells and abilities. Cool. We had eight in hand, now we have just seven. Okay, Fairy Sage, air creature, cost four. And then attack four, life 19. When the Fairy Sage is summoned, it heals an amount of life to its owner equal to the owner's. Y yeah, let me don't play that yet. Merfolk Elder, this music kind of very loud. Turn the music down. Alright, Mofrog Elder, 
Water creature costs 5, attack 3, life 16. Merfolk Elder increases the growth of its owner's air power by 1. Okay, so you start with a certain amount of power. Then the creatures and spells and such give you more, maybe. So right now I got... Alright, let's throw you right there. Right by the... Yeah, that side. I swing for four since I guess I no longer have so many sickness or something. Okay, holy, uh, I mean, ho and holy avenger attacks. And okay, so they hit me for four. I guess I lost four right there. Wasn't really paying attention. All right, so now down to f three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I drew a card right there. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Uh, I throw somebody to that Holy Avengers right. It started at 23 life and then it got hit for 4 and now it's at 19. Cool. Uh, fire creature cost 8. Okay, it cost 8, so it cost pretty high. Uh, 8 attack, 26 life. When Bargoal is summoned, it deals 4 damage to each other creature. Uh,. I mean, you're a heavy hitter. I'll go ahead and throw you out there. So everybody swings this that doesn't have summoning sickness. Maybe for four. And then what was your power again? Each time a neighboring creature dies. Okay, dies. I thought it was like something else. All right, but anyway, I think I drew it card after their turn a uh, merfolk apostate water creature cost three attack three life ten when merfolk apostate is summoned it increases its owner's firepower by two okay so i spent like a big eight on my fire so now i'm down to one maybe you gain one every turn or something i don't know fairy sage when fairy sage is summoned it heals an amount of life to its owner i haven't lost any life yet griffin air creature cost two attack three life 15 when it, when griffin is summoned its owner's air power is if its owner's air power is five or more it deals five damage to the opponent yeah let's do that five damage to them everybody swings there's no counter attacking look like it looks like it unless they have their power I guess they gain a life okay my merfolk's about to croak if I don't do something about that okay divine justice holy spell costs four divine justice heals 12 life to target creature and deals 12 damage to each other creature dang 12 damage to each other Man, hold them up. Okay, I would have to trade this guy to save the Merfolk. Merfolk Elders increases his owner's air power. You probably replenish one, one, one energy every turn. Of each category, maybe. Hmm. I uh, don't know what to play. Forest spirits attack damages the opponent and each of the opponent's creatures. Yeah, definitely throwing you out there. Yeah, let's go ahead and play you. So we're at eight Earth. Let's go down to well, man, it's big seven. When giant spider is summoned. It puts a 211 force fighter into each of its empty neighboring slots. Yeah, let's not do that yet. Yeah, let's play this guy. Okay, so going down to 8 to 5. Yep. Swing, 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 swing. And then. Okay, Merkfolk is just barely hanging on. I think we drew an Earth and Orc Chieftain, or... I don't know. Okay, so right now we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in hand for some reason. 
Tornado destroy target opponent's creature. Okay, they played the Orc Chieftain. Okay. Orc Chieftain increases the attack of its neighboring creatures by two except walls. Okay, so they got buffed up, looks like it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this box right here, it shows you their base stats. But then when they get buffed up, like the Orc is buffing it up, the 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 neighbor's attacks by two so that's a natural four but then it's a six when it's neighbor that guy so let's go ahead and take out the orc chieftain then true enough my uh merfolk is gonna die but that's okay uh my uh my force sprite will wipe out the uh that guy on the crackback. Well, I mean, my bargold is gonna wipe it out anyway. Mmm Fire Drake. Drake Yeah, I need to be paying attention to how the uh I guess how like the energy keeps on coming back. But four, six, two, seven, six right now. But fire creature cost four. Attack four, life eighteen. Fire Drake attacks to turn it in his play. All right, you got haste. So let's haste right into that priest of fire. Why don't we? Yeah, why don't we? Everybody swings and then yeah, they knocked out that guy. Yeah, okay. And then my guy gets to go ahead and hit the life. Yeah, that was nice. Because the forest sprite hits every enemy for one. I kind of don't like how they put the the summary of what happened like right in the middle of the screen. But I guess I might get used to it. Water creature cast six. And then attack three. Life 20. Ice guard reduces all damage dealt to its owner by 50%. Okay, total damage will be rounded up. It's coming there. Alright, Giant Turtle, Water Creature, cost 7, attack 5, so it was 1, man, okay, 1, 7, 3, 8, 7, see how those values go up, 1, 7, 3, 8, 7, 1, 7, 3, 8, 7, alright, uh, Water Creature, cost 7, attack 5, life 16, damage dealt to Giant Turtle is reduced by 5, okay, you're not that heavy a hitter, but you're about as heavy as everybody is on the team possible right now, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw you out. Okay, 17387. Yeah, I think Tom Vessel says he plays this a lot before he goes to sleep. And I can see that because this, uh, this music is kind of putting me to sleep. Alright, 1, 3, 4, 6, 8. No, no, no. 1, 0, 8, 7, 7. Man, I forgot. 1, so the fire bumped up 1. The water bumped up 1 because I was down to 0. 1, zero three eight seven yeah so everything every every uh, uh uh every element bumps up one between turns that's cool all right uh so all i can afford right now that i have in hand i guess is three cards because i've been spinning them okay so i can afford okay maybe you have them static cards even if you spend them you just how uh, you you just maybe always have access to those same cards, maybe. Alright, we got five right there. Divine meddling increases his caster's fire, water, and earth powers by two. Then deals ten damage to the opponent. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Alright, ten damage to them. Then I get two of everything. Alright, they going ham. 
Okay, they did 12 damage to most of my stuff. That was almost a board wipe. Nope, actually looks like the water. No, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Mm. All right, I got 12 so I can play this big crazy master healer. At the beginning of its owner's turn, master healer heals three life to its owner and each of its owner's creatures. Oh yeah, yeah, let's do that for sure. Yeah, yeah buddy. All right, uh, hitting them boys for one, four, and then the novice mage only has thir 13 life. It has no chance. Increases the growth. I didn't really press that, but I'll take it. They got five life and they're out of there. GG. Good intro game. Combat result. Polio Games wins. The day's score is 1-0. And I lead. Alright, think I might be ready to play the real game, maybe. Alright, let's go multiplayer. Online league. Don't have all that yet. Uh, let's start the campaign, League of Heroes, Custom Decks, Draft Tournament, Campaign, Warrior Priest, Difficulty, let's go normal. Go normal. Alright, for 1,000 years, peace and order have reigned across Revnia. The War of Darkness concluded with an alliance of mages narrowly defeating the demigod Dorlock would-be master of the universe he had harnessed the immense power of the astral spectrum by creating the great prism with this artifact he could split and recombine the aspects of the astral energy to devastating effect in the final battle Dorlock was was disintegrated and the prism shattered but its remnants could not be destroyed by any force of on Revnia, the victorious mages decided to spread the shards among its members for safekeeping. They chose the council to be greatest mages, to be greatest mages in the land, to be great. They chose the council to be greatest mages in the land, purposely selected for their rivalry and hatred of each other. Both good and evil, scholars and warriors were included, so no alliance would ever form among them. Revnia has been ruled by these near immortal mages ever since each one a master of a portion of the astral spectrum. Orphaned at a young age, you may have begun your studies under Master of Chaos as one of his many apprentices. Your life of devoted service was laying out before you until one night Celestia, the guardian angel of Revnia herself, visited you from the stars, warning you of a dark threat to the world order. Alright, uh, over the last millennium, you, your master became corrupted by his piece of the spectrum. His soul twisted by madness, he is attempting to enslave humanity. Celestia sensed this and battled him almost to a standstill. And in C uh, Celestia's physical form has been temporarily banished from this plane, but your master is gravely weakened and she needs you to finish defeating him and rescue the Chaos Prism Shard. Alright, ready to play. Alright, um, so we're starting out 54462. 54462. Alright, so. Play to three, then we'll only have three next time. But what can we play this pretty expensive? It heals an amount of life to its owner equal to, twi t to twice the caster's earth power. Okay, so don't spend earth maybe for a while. 
Each time a neighboring creature dies, Holy Avengers' his attack increases by two permanently. It seems like you're a good drop in the beginning of the game. Fairy Apprentice increases the damage of its owner's spells by one. Ice Golem receives no damage from spells and abilities. When Merfolk as when Merfolk apostate is summoned, it increases its owner's fire by two. Priest of Fire increases the growth of its owner's firepower by one. Yeah, let's do that. Now, is that every turn or just for that one turn? They're playing that. Okay, so. Yeah, so I was at five, I believe, and then now I'm at four. Oh, what if I put two of you out, though? Yeah, what if I put two of you out? Yeah, let's see how that goes. Okay, so at one right now. Theoretically, when I come back, I should be at one, two, three, four. Four. Yep, right at four. Cool. So you can just keep on dropping those and can just stack up on other elements, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing normal, so this is kind of unfair because I have 60 life, they only have 30. But, alright, at the beginning of its owner's turn, Troll heals 4 life to itself. And let's go ahead and play you out there, just in case if something dies. If I could find a way to buff her attack, that would be nice. Play you there. Oh man, my uh, Priest of Fire is almost out of there. Okay, Fire Elemental. Fire creature costs... 10 and attack is equal to its owner's firepower limit I mean life 37 when fire elemental is summoned it deals 3 damage to the opponent and, and each of the opponent's creatures huh fire elemental increases the growth of its owner's fire by 1 so I'm going crazy with the fire so I could just keep on playing fire just ramp up the fire doesn't seem very fair but I mean let's try it all right did kill that middle guy though middle guy okay so right now you got zero firepower but now you're right back on a four so that's how it uh yeah, you know, instead of playing you, I'm going to just wait until I get another 10 fire to play another one of those out. Uh, you're in danger of dying. Oh, phew. Uh, holy creature costs 3, attack 4, life 26. Each time its owner summons a creature into the neighboring slot, temporal Templar deals 4 damage to the opponent. Okay, should have played that a while ago too. But, uh... Kinda don't think I really want to kill it. I, I mean, play anybody. But I guess you have to. Increases the damage of its owner's spells by 1... Ice Golem receives no damage from spells, damage dealt to Giant Turtle, yeah.
Okay, they got ETBs and heels. A life looks like equal to its old equal to its owner's earth power. Yeah, so and I can see like you know the cards aren't changing. You, you pretty much have access to four cards of each element, twenty cards, and then they stay the same. You keep on can casting them, but your energy just goes lower as you spend stuff. All right, flame wave will be crazy, but I'm gonna play something else. Okay, raise of the rage of God deals 12 damage to each of the opponent's creatures, then deals three damage to the opponent for each of the opponent's creatures that did not die. Yeah, so that'll be two damage. Yeah, it might be over. All right, they got one life. Yeah, um, I played a few games of that Fatal Frame. This is kind of similar to the Fatal Frame, but this one seems simpler. But I'll be playing Fatal Frame soon, too, before that one ends up being taken offline. I mean, like Emergence or something. And I, and I definitely need to get some Gwent in before... Well, I mean, Gwent is going to be fan-run after it's uh, done by CD Projekt Red, when it's done for by CD Projekt Red with the real uh, dev development okay infernal deals 18 to target opponents creature and 10 damage to each of the opponents other creatures yeah why not and ov it's ov all right combat time nine minutes summon creatures six and six and banished creatures five I guess guys did you kill zero damage opponent 40 fame gain 200 okay Celestia tells you the rest of the shareholder accounts let me move closer to the <laughs> screen uh, Celestia tells you the rest of the shareholder council has been corrupted just as your master has time is running out because eventually one of them will be dominated by his shard and enslave the world you must defeat them all, gather the shards, and turn them over to Celestia for safekeeping. You must travel across the land, fighting the servants of the council and, and, and anyone who would bar your way on your quest. Chaos Prism Shard, mighty artifact created by Dorlock, part of Great Prism. And that's my reward. Alright, that was cool. Yeah, well, I need to uh, really, really what I need to play one day too is um, uh, Runiverse TCG plays like one kind of little um campaign magic game. I think it's Sandalar, really. Yeah, well, I think it's no, no, no. Sandalar might be the uh, Sandalar might be what they used to call the uh, flesh and blood online thing. I need to play that one too. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna cut the video there. This was cool. I'm going to probably pick it up later again. Eventually put it back on the camera. But be looking for more of these obscure trading card light games. For your games, like, comment, and subscribe. That music really got me sleepy. I think I might lay it down. But uh, come back for more TCG stuff. Holler.